if you've got a cuffed tracheostomy in the right place in the tachea, you should not be able to vocalise in any way or form grunting or talking, snoring, stride or any of those sounds are abnormal. Other airway signs would be inability or, or intermittent inability to pass a suction catheter. Breathing red flags in a spontaneously breathing patient would include a rapidly breathing patient with shallow breaths using accessory muscles, evidence of low saturations and peripheral cyanosis. In a patient on a ventilator, it could be the ventilator alarming, difficulty delivering a tidal volume, for instance. But I think most importantly, abnormality or changes or loss of the capnography trace. In terms of circulation flags, in many ways it manifests the same way as any emergency, such as high heart rate, high blood pressure, and in extreme situations, you know, a very low heart rate. D flags would include an agitated patient or a change in the mental status of a patient from what has been the norm for them. Specific tracheostomy flags would include cuff failure, a visibly displaced tracheostomy tube, new pain in or around the tracheostomy site, and bleeding either from around the tracheostomy site or bleeding on suction.